Hi there. Welcome to Jeannie's Guitar Class. I'm Jeannie Carter, and today we're going to work on a simple two-string picking pattern in the key of E. So grab your guitar and let's have some fun. First, make sure your guitar is in tune and is tuned to standard 440 tuning. This two-string picking method I'm going to show you is in the blues style vein. Let me say that I am not trying to teach you necessarily a particular style of music, even though some of what I teach you will fit into a particular style of music. What I am trying to teach you is how to control the pick and how to use both the cording hand and the picking hand at the same time. I guess you could describe what I'm trying to teach you as guitar playing coordination. This will be a simple two-string blues rhythm pattern in the key of E and in 4-4 four, four time. Remember that 4-4 four, four time means there are four beats in a measure and a quarter note gets one beat. Mainly, just remember there are four beats in one round or one measure of playing, which in this case would be counted as one and two and three and four and this is what I will call one round, meaning we have completed one measure of playing. Watch and listen as I demonstrate the goal we are working for. Okay, let's break down what we will be doing here. My first finger is on the fifth string, second fret. Make sure to get close to the second fret, but not on it. Now place your pick on top of the sixth string and play only the sixth and fifth strings with two down strokes like this. Another thing I want to point out to you is that when I am playing, my first finger is releasing pressure at certain times to give it a more blunt sound. In other words, I don't want it to ring out in places, so I release pressure on the string without taking my finger off the string to accomplish this. Listen again as I play the E part of this two string picking. Listen for the bluntness. It will be right after the first downstroke. The deadening of the string will occur right after the first downstroke of all the double downstrokes throughout this rhythm picking pattern. As for the count of this pattern for 4-4 four, four time, on the first two downstrokes we will play in just a minute, this will be counted as one and. Even though the and part of the pick strum is not an upstroke, as it usually is when playing rhythm guitar chords, it is still counted as the and part of the pattern. Now we will play only the first two downstrokes on the E part of this pattern for the count of one and. If you want to work on the bluntness or deadening part of this pattern later, you can do that after you perfect the picking rhythm pattern. Are you ready to try it? Okay, I will count us off as one, two, three, go, play. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Great. Now let's add the fourth finger into the mix. Place the fourth finger or pinky finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, while leaving the first finger in place on the second fret like this. 
Now we will place the pick on top of the sixth string and play both the sixth and fifth strings at the same time with two downstrokes counted as two and, like this. Now, let's try playing together. Ready? Here we go. Just the fourth pinky finger part. One, two, three, go. Now we are going to play this for one measure and you're going to move back and forth from the first finger to fourth finger positions for the count. Let me show you what I mean. Are you ready to try it together? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. All right. Now the correct rhythm for this would be to play this pattern for four measures. So it would sound like this. Okay, now let me play that again and count for you. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. On the very last downstroke, on the and part of the four and for the fourth measure, we will play the sixth and fifth strings open like this. This helps make a smooth transition to the next two string picking part of the pattern. You'll see more about what I mean in a minute. But let's try the four measure picking pattern in E together now. Remember, the last downstroke here will be open. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Great job! Now, let's add the next part to this blues picking pattern. We are moving to the A part of the blues pattern. If you were playing rhythm guitar, this would be the point where you would change your chord from the E chord to the A chord. For this picking pattern, all you have to do is move your pattern down one string and do the same thing you did for the E two string pattern with the only differences being that you will just play this pattern for two measures, and you will now play only the fifth and fourth strings together. Don't forget to play the last downstroke open at the end of the second measure. Let me demonstrate the A part of this two string picking pattern. <laughs> Let's try the A part of this two string picking pattern together. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Now, let's put the E and A parts of this blues rhythm pattern together. Don't forget to play the last downstroke open before the change. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Job. 
The next part of this blues rhythm pattern changes back to the E2 string picking for two measures. So we now have this as our goal. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay, now the next part of this blues rhythm pattern changes to the B, two string picking. Since this video is mostly designed for beginners, we will only play the fifth and fourth strings with the first finger located on the fifth string, second fret, like this, and the fourth finger located on the fourth string, fourth fret, like this. We will only play one measure of this without moving any fingers back and forth. This is the easy version of this pattern. There is a version that has the fingers moving back and forth like the E and A parts do, but we will only play it this way for now. It will sound like this. Did you notice that I played the last downstroke on the and part of the four count open? Don't forget to play your opens because this gives smoothness to your playing. Okay, let's try just the B part of this blues rhythm together. Get your fingers in position on the strings. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, Three, go. All right, we're almost there. After the B part of this blues pattern, we will go back to the A two string pattern for one measure. Okay. Let's try this together from the beginning. Remember, we will be going from E to A, to E, to B, and back to A. Let me show you once more what the goal is. Now, let's try this together. Ready? One, two, three, go.
Good job. Now the last part of this blues rhythm will change back to the E two string pattern, but it will be just a little different because it will be part of what I call a turnaround, which completes one cycle of this blues rhythm. A cycle means we play through from the start of E to A to E to B to A to E and then to the ending at B. That is one cycle or one complete time around. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. What we will play on this E2 string pattern will be one complete measure and start on the second measure for the one and two count. But then we will change to the B part of the pattern and the beat or rhythm will change just a bit here for the third and fourth counts. The B part will be counted as three, four, E, and the. Uh. It will sound like this. Okay, let's try just this E to B part together. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. How'd you do? That was a bit tricky, wasn't it? That is called a turnaround because now we can start this entire pattern all over again. And we can play this same pattern over and over and over again as many times as we want to play it until we want to end it. Let's try to play this blues rhythm pattern all the way through for one time around or for one round. We will end on one downstroke on E. By playing the one downstroke on E, this gives an ending to the rhythm pattern or the music. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. Awesome. Now, let's play this same pattern all the way through for five times. You are not going to end on the E downstroke until the very last time around, and this will be the very last stroke you play. As I said, this completes the rhythm and gives it an ending. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go.
Okay, this concludes our lesson on a simple blues two-string picking rhythm pattern. Make sure you practice this until you get smooth and accurate. As always, try to set aside at least 30 minutes every day to practice your guitar playing, and you'll be playing smoothly before you know it. All right, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you'd like to see more of Jenny's guitar class videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.